Hello, hello. First of all, let me say hello to all the people. Uh, it's your boy Trix here with uh, today's Squad Goals. And uh, we're going to talk about something that has been going on on Twitter uh, for the last uh, few days, people. Uh, racism has been going on a little. Actually, that's been going on forever, but it's gotten out of hand recently. <laughs> So uh, The Wiz came out. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, basically The Wiz um, is a play, an adaptation of the original Wizard of Oz. Uh, it premiered uh, last Thursday or the Thursday before on NBC. Uh, it had Neo in there. It had Mary J. Blige. It had the chick from Orange is New Black, Crazy Eyes. I don't even know her name and I should know it because I'm African and I should be ashamed of myself. Charlie. Uh, Queen Latifah's in there. Basically, it is a play that is recreating The Wizard of Oz. Apparently, uh, there are some people, white people, who feel that this is racist. Really? A bunch of black people get together to recreate a fictional story, and that's racist. However, the 70 million movies that I've seen that have all white characters, sometimes in urban neighborhoods, not racist at all, it's just normal. Let me catch you up to uh, some of the tweets that some people put up about this, uh, about this play. So white people are not happy, guys. Minorities act like they're the victim, but can you imagine if we made an all white version of The Wiz? You did. It's called The Wizard of Oz and we had to watch it in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh grade of our lives. You do remember the story, right? I saw it, basically the little white girl who is from Kansas and basically runs away, and trips over a rock or whatever happened to her. She uh, ends up unconscious and she dreams of being whisked away into this magical uh, land of Oz where she's desperately trying to get home and she meets a scarecrow, a tin man, and a lion who are all looking for uh, bravery, brains, and a heart, only to realize they had these things all along. She's with her dog, she pisses off a witch, and the whole movie comes down to the point where all she had to do was click her damn heels and she would have been home like that, and we would have avoided a freaking two hour movie. A notable part about that movie is there were no black people in it. Not one, not even the munchkins. Nobody was white. The scarecrow wasn't white. Heck, the lion which is an African creature, was white. But we didn't say anything. Basically, why are there no white starring in The Wiz? This is racist. Can you imagine if it were the other way? Hashtag white lives matter. Do I even need to dignify that with a response? That sounded like the last tweet. Uh, here's another one. For those uh, thinking The Wiz was racist for its lack of white actors, you're the reason we can't have nice things. Now accepting applicants that are only white to remake the movie Barbershop, we're calling it Supercuts. <laughs> the hate's real. It's real. It's really real. I don't understand why there's a, an uproar when uh, black characters are cast in movies. Look, for years we have sat there and we have watched white people portrayed in every movie possible. How much times have I turned on a television show or a movie and all the characters are white? And if there are black characters in a television show or a movie, they're either the drug dealer, the cab driver, uh, they are in jail when a white guy accidentally gets thrown in there, the cellmate's black. All the characters, all the stereotypical foolishness you see with us black people, that's what we are portrayed in movies. And it's just now that we're starting to accept black people in main roles, okay? Like Scandal, right? We got Kerry Washington, who's a leading lady, right? We got Empire, Taraji Henson and, and, and uh, Terrence Howard, who kind of counts. He's kind of black. He's black. <laughs> Have you seen Hustle and Flow? He's black. Trust me. There are certain characters that even I, as a black man, if they changed from white to black, I would lose my mind. I'll be honest, like you, you can't make Batman black. And some of you are looking at me like, why not? I'm like, Let, let's be honest, come on, leave Batman alone. I, I could accept him as a white guy. I could accept Superman as a white guy. I could accept Wolverine 
as a as a white guy. Even Spider Man, I could accept as a as a white guy. Because black people, let's be honest, if we got bit by a spider, we'd be we'd be losing our mind. We wouldn't be we wouldn't be discovering powers and and trying to save people and climbing buildings. Black people wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We would be losing our minds. We, I'm, may I go dead? May I go dead? Spider bite me. Spider bite me, Jesus. You think we're gonna make a costume to go fight crime? No. Take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital now. Spider bite me. And I'm going to die if you don't take me to the hospital. Jesus. That's what black people would do. You wanna talk about racist? What about Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Okay. The black at people in that particular story are idiots who left their door unlocked so a white girl could come and eat their porridge. That's not racist. And they come home and see a white girl in the bed and they're bears. None of them eat the white girl. No, 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 no. What about the fact that Little Red Riding Hood, the only black person in Little Red Riding Hood is a wolf that is stalking some little white girl and follows her through the woods to her house, eats her grandmother and tries to eat the little white girl. What about Three Little Pigs? Only black person in that story is a wolf again who's trying to huff and puff and blow houses down. That's it, right? Um, this concludes another edition of Squad Goes TV, and it's a social issue, people, man. I want to hear what you guys have to say, all right? Uh, so comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I want to read what you guys have to say. Only the intelligent people, please. If you're going to troll and write some dumb foolishness, don't bother. Like, just, you know, step in front of a bus and, and, and wait for the bus to hit you because you're dumb. I don't really want to hear you. Her name is Uzo Aduba. I feel like I, I just felt like I casted a spell on somebody. Uzo Aduba! Why am I making this hard, guy? I don't know. It's fucking, I, like I forgot the story. <laughs> Wait till, imagine if it was all black people in hockey. Woo! Woo! That'd be, that wouldn't even be hockey. That'd just be one big fight.